is Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 73 of the year 2023 appointing officials in the Ministry of Interior based on a proposal by the Interior Minister and following the Cabinet approval under the decree, the following shall be appointed at the Ministry. Brigadier General Salman Mohammed Al Zayed Al Jalahma as Director General of the General Directorate of Guards. Brigadier General Isa Hassan Mohammed Al Ghattan as Director General of the Capital Government Police Directorate. Brigadier General Saleh Rashid Fahad Al Dusiri as Director General of the Northern Government Police Directorate. Brigadier General Ali Mohammed Jassim Al Kabisi as Director General of the General Directorate of Civil Defense. Brigadier General Sultan Ahmed Jum'a Al Kabi as Director General of the Muharraq Government Police Directorate. Colonel Ammar Mustafa Jafar Al Sayyid as Assistant Chief of Public Security for Community Affairs. Colonel Ibrahim Khalifa Ibrahim al Dawadi as Director General of the General Directorate of Public Security Presidency Affairs. Colonel Ahmed Jasim Barak al Hitami as Director General of the General Directorate of Port Security. Colonel Abdullah Ahmed Abdullah al Isa as Commander of the Police Avi Aviation at the rank of Director General. Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Mohammed Al Khalifa as Assistant Under Secretary for Administrative Affairs. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 74 of the year 2023, appointing Deputy Governors at the Northern and Southern Governments based on a proposal by the Minister of Interior. Colonel Abdullah Ali Rashid Mantar was appointed as Deputy Governor of the Northern Governorate, and Colonel Hamad Mohammed Abdullah Al Khayyat as Deputy Governor of the Southern Governorate. Their tenure will extend for four years. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, and met with Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Council, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The visit took place to mark the 22nd anniversary of the SCW. His Royal Highness highlighted Team Bahrain's efforts in advancing the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also noted the executive positions and leadership roles that Bahraini women have attained within Team Bahrain thanks to the efforts of Her Royal Highness. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the progress made by Bahraini women through their creativity and innovation, commending their efforts across public and private sectors, work streams. His Royal Highness emphasized that the STW's 22nd anniversary is a statement to the accomplishment it has achieved in supporting Bahraini women through its various strategies, programs and initiatives led by Her Royal Highness. His Royal Highness highlighted the STW's efforts realizing His Majesty the King's far-reaching vision for Bahraini women's empowerment. His Royal Highness emphasized the government's commitment to fully implement His Majesty the King's aspirations by supporting the SCW's wide-ranging women empowerment programs and added that Bahraini women are a key partner to the Kingdom's comprehensive development. Commenting on the occasion, Her Royal Highness expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to government development programs that support the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. Her Royal Highness affirmed His Royal Highness's commitment to advancing Bahraini women's contributions to the national economy. Her Royal Highness also highlighted the confidence His Royal Highness has in Bahraini women capabilities, including their pivotal role alongside Bahraini men in furthering the Kingdom's development. His Royal Highness commended the coordination between SCW and the public sector, which aligns with His Royal Highness's direct and has helped sustain Bahraini women's advancement across all work streams. Her Royal Highness welcomed His Royal Highness's visit, adding that it is a statement to the public sector's ongoing support for the Council and its far-reaching goals. Her Royal Highness emphasized the STW's commitment to align its work streams with the government's programs to support Bahraini women and ensure that the Kingdom continues to hold a good gender gap ranking globally. A number of senior officials were in attendance. The continuous follow-up efforts and directives of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, contributed to Bahraini women reaching the status that they hold today in various fields and at all levels. Her Royal Highness has exerted her utmost efforts for the advancement of Bahraini women and supported many qualitative initiatives that aim to support Bahraini women and include them in the national development process through the development of the National Strategy for the Advancement of Bahraini Women, which was approved by His Majesty the King. 
Her Royal Highness announced a program which is the first of its kind in the Arab region for the political participation of Bahraini women in 2006, which aims to support and empower Bahraini women and prepare them to enter the political field. In 2008, Her Royal Highness launched the Bahraini Women's Day Initiative, which has become a national occasion celebrated by the Kingdom of Bahrain on the 1st of December of each year, with its main slogan, She Read, She Learned, She Participated. Her Royal Highness also launched the Her Royal Highness's Award for Bahraini Women's Advancement, which achieved increasing successes during its previous editions. The award encourages ministries and official and private institutions to support and empower Bahraini working women and integrate them into national development plans. Bahrain's experience turned global with the allocation of the United Nations Women in partnership with Bahrain of Her Royal Highness's International Award for Women's Empowerment in June 2016. Within the frameworks of Bahrain's endeavor in cooperation with the international community to demonstrate the sustainable progress achieved in ensuring competitiveness and fair participation between the two genders. In order to create equal opportunities for women and men in the programs, projects and services provided by the Kingdom, the Supreme National Committee was established to follow up on activating the Bahraini model for integrating women's needs into the government's work program headed by Her Royal Highness. Upon the initiative of Her Royal Highness, the MTAs initiative was launched for young Bahraini businesswomen to highlight young competencies in the field of entrepreneurship. Her Royal Highness was keen to develop national programs aimed at family stability for Bahraini women, to achieve security and safety for the family, which contributed to introducing many services for Bahraini women, including housing services and the opportunity for children of Bahraini women, married to non-Bahrainis to obtain the Bahraini nationality, in addition to many programs that focus on stabilizing the legal status of Bahraini women at the family level. Her Royal Highness also follows up on the work and programs of various women's associations in the Kingdom and seeks to cooperate with them at the levels of women and family work. Her Royal Highness also pays great attention to the role of young people in developing future policies and preparing them as leaders of women's work in the future. Her Royal Highness has been granted many awards and honours for her active role in the fields of women's and social work in appreciation of her efforts and honourable stances aimed at raising the status of Bahraini women, their progress and development in all fields. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 66 of the year 2023, appointing a director in the executive body of the Supreme Council for the Environment, the SCE, based on a proposal by President of the SCE. The Edict stipulated that Leila Ali Ahmed Sabil is appointed the director of the Climate Change and Sustainable Development Department in the executive body of the SCE. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 67 of the year 2023, transferring a director in the Ministry of Interior based on a proposal by the Minister of Interior. According to the edict, the Director of the Human and Financial Resources Directorate in the General Coordination Organization for Governance at the Ministry of Interior, Khuloud Abdullah Khalifa Hamada, shall be transferred to be the Director of the Civil Personnel Affairs Directorate at the same ministry. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 68 of the year 2023, appointing officials at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs based on a proposal by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The edict stipulated that Ali Khalid Ali al arifi is appointed the head of al Madar. Center and Ahmed Mohammed Al Trefi is appointed the head of the Arab and African Affairs Sector. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 69 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the Ministry of Labor based on a proposal by the Minister of Labor. According to the Edict, Sharifa Ali Ahmed Al Hajari was appointed as director of the Human and Financial Resources at the Ministry of Labor. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 70 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, LMRA, based on a proposal by the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the LMRA. The Edict stipulated that Ali Mohammed Ali Salman Yusuf is appointed as Director of Policy and Research at the LMRA. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 71 of the year 2023, appointing an Acting Director in the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, LMRA, based on a proposal by the Minister of Labour and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the LMRA. According to the edict, Marzoug Abdul Karim Marzoug Salim shall be the acting director of the labor inspection at the LMRA. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 72 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture based on a proposal by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture. According to the edict, Jafar Sami Jawad Tajar shall be appointed as director of the local agricultural production directorate at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture. His Royal Highness also issued 
Act or issued Act 73 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications based on a proposal by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications. That Act stipulated that Salman Hassan Saleh Saati is appointed as director of the Land Transportation Planning and Studies Directorate. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 74 of the year 2023, appointing directors at the Ministry of Health based on a proposal by the Minister of Health. The Edict stipulated that Dr. Mohammed Abdel Majid Al Awadi is appointed as Director of Public Health and Fajr Yusuf Mohammed Saleh as Director of Human and Financial Resources. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 75 of the year 2023, appointing two directors at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf based on a proposal by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs. And Waqf. The edict stipulates that uh, Subah Tariq Adbi Al Jalahma is appointed as director of the Judicial Accounts Directorate, and Abdurrahman Isam Abdullah Muhammad is appointed as director of the Miners Fund and Affairs Directorate. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 76 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the Urban Planning and Development Authority based on a proposal by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning. According to the edict, Maryam Ahmed Hassan Haider was appointed as director of UN resources at the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning and His Royal Highness issued Edict 77 of the year 2023 based on a proposal by the Minister of Sustainable Development. The edict stipulated that uh, Futun Abdurrahman Hussain Al Amadi is appointed as Director of Communication and International Relations at the Ministry of Sustainable Development. The President of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the follow up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is keen to provide quality health services to all. The SCH President received Saudi Arabia as candidate for the post of Director of the WHO Regional Office for the Eastern Mediterranean EMRO, Dr. Hanan bint Hassan Belkhi, who is on a visit to the Kingdom to present her electoral program and discuss areas of cooperation between Bahrain and EMRO. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed praised EMRO's role, notifying that or noting that its cooperation contributed to achieving many successes regarding the implementation of joint health plans, projects and programs. He stressed the importance of carrying on cooperation with the WHO to enhance health services. During the meeting, Dr. Belkhi was briefed about the Kingdom's health services, including the implementation mechanisms of the health insurance system. The two sides also discussed the latest regional and global health developments. Dr. Belkhi commended the efforts exerted by the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the SCH to advance the Kingdom's health sector. Dr. Belkhi reviewed her electoral program, which is based on making health care accessible to all, especially the hard-to-reach population, commitment to promoting universal health coverage across the region and to ensuring that everyone has access to basic services. She expressed thanks and appreci appreciation to the SCH President for the warm welcome, wishing the Kingdom's health sector continued success in achieving its goals. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce continues to raise the efficiency and quality of systems provided for government services, which contributes to accelerating the pace of achievements and development. The Commercial Records System Sigillat is an integrated electronic portal that affirms or aims to provide a commercial investment environment that attracts Bahraini Gulf and international investors and facilitates the establishment of commercial projects and the implementation of any other requirements related to commercial activities. The first version of the Sigillat system was launched in 2015 under the name Commercial Records and the second version was launched in 2016. The third and upgraded version of Sigillat uses modern programming techniques to suit various electronic devices in addition to the automated guide service which is an interactive tool and a proactive step that facilitates procedures for investors by establishing their commercial activities and determining the appropriate structure for the commercial registration or its activity before starting it. It also provides the service of printing certificates for the commercial register and to speed the performance of the system has also improved through developing the technical infrastructure. The ministry continues to develop the Sigil system and is in the process of working on a fourth version.
According to FTTH, Council Europe's 2023 Global Ranking, which assesses levels of fiber optic connectivity consumers' homes, Bahrain ranked among the top 20 countries around the world in terms of the spread of fiber optic. This came due to the efforts exerted by the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority to enhance competition in services. The report of the FTTH affirmed the decrease in home broadband prices in Bahrain to more than 18% and mobile to 16% in addition to the decrease in mobile phone services price compared to other GCC countries by more than 58%. Data for this year revealed an increase in the number of home broadband users by more than 7%, which provide fast and reliable internet connection to more people.